Welcome to Listen to Player Two. It's a video game review review show because, uh, you know, sometimes it's hard to find good video games. And that's why we're here to kind of help you do that. Uh, my name is Joe and I'll be your player one. My name is Jeff and I'll be your player one. I'm not recording. Get Kim. Kim, you fucking idiot. Okay, now I'm recording. Try again. No, just say your name. Oh, and my name is Kim and I'll be your player one. Okay, you can be the player one, Kim. But you know what I am? What? I'm living in a in a Barbie world, y'all. <laughs> oh. I'm living in a Barbie world. How many watches do you have of the trailer now, Kim? Because I have one and I feel like it has existed in my mind forever. Uh, yeah, I um I have seen it on Instagram and I have gone through the reel and I have seen an ad with Will Ferrell and um He's I'm like businessman or something in it. Yeah. 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 He's like he's I'm like he's business dad. So sold. And I am embarrassed that I'm as sold as I am. I heard like just like two seconds of Aqua's Barbie world. And I was just like, this I'm done. I'm done. You, I, you, you've sold I guess me. You I, can stop. We're, do, we're doing like, this. I've already, I've already bought. Stop selling. He's Stop killing. He's already dead. Is yeah. Barbie World the song that plays in the trailer? Yeah, by Aqua. See, here's yeah. the problem is I, I, I get it. That's too obvious of a choice. I think it's a pretty obvious movie, my friend. I, I, yeah, but I just wish they would have, you know, like, let's, let's, let's subvert my expectations. What, what, what did you, hey, hey, Jeff. <laughs> Yeah. What did you want them to play? Welcome to the Dope Show. Now, with I'm, Marilyn Manson. A, li- a little there. bit of that they could have done. Um, We're all star. Hey, Barbie and Ken are stars now in the Dope Show. They could have done Perfect Drug. I feel like that would have overlaid mm. really well with it. Uh, either what about Teenage Dream? If Teen- you're gonna go, Ooh, that would Teenage be Dream Perry, is good. Because pretty much anything. Well, in Kate, that's in Teenage Dream. She does sort of a Barbie thing in that, doesn't she? She does. Yeah, yeah. that's kind of her aesthetic. I think maybe we should twist it even further. And the theme song should be Dre Day by Dr. Dre. Sing me a little bit of Dre Day. No, (laughs) I don't need to get that canceled. We oh, you know what? I'll switch it up to Eight Mile. How about that? There we go. Yeah, you know that's a little bit better. Palms are plastic. I'm hyped for this Barbie movie. Mom's spaghetti. Yeah. I think I'm not I think gonna see it. I'm not going to see it in theaters. I'm still not willing to go see it in theaters. No, I do. No, I don't want to go general movies. I do want to see this Dungeons and Dragons movie because that's on everyone's tongues and it's only in theaters. And now when I see something that says only in theaters, I feel like that they're just taunting me knowing that I don't really want to go to a no, theater. Jeff, I hate to do this. I'm not letting you walk out on Barbie right now. <laughs> you cannot move on to D&D. Well, I can hear it in your voice because you were just like, I don't know if there's any more jokes in here. <laughs> I don't know if there's any more jokes in this space with Barbie. And guess what? I'm pretty sure there are because we were talking about this before Kim barged in without her recording on. Michael Sarah's in it and the trailer shows all the boys are Ken's. All the girls are Barbies except for one boy, and that is Michael Sarah's character. He plays Alan. All the boys in Barbie are not Ken. Yes, they are. They are all Ken. Yeah, they're all Ken. You Seemingly, didn't watch. Obviously, somebody yeah. didn't watch the trailer that hard. Yeah. Just another Ken. Come on. And the guy that they have that plays Ken, who is Ryan Gosling, is it, it's just Ryan Gosling. See, it's there's another guy who looks like Ryan Gosling. I'm not getting into this again. I mean, to be fair, there are a lot of guys that look like Ryan Gosling. But the guy that I was thinking of specifically was whenever I look in the mirror, I'm just like, hey, Ryan Gosling, hey, what are you hey, doing here? Ryan Gosling? <laughs> what are you doing? Don't yeah, you whatever. Want, like a movie to be in? Sometimes Ryan Gosling just does appear in the mirror. Yeah. And then he whispers to me like the dates of every plane crash. And I'm like, I don't need to know this. <laughs> Ryan Gosling. Yeah. Ryan well, Gosling. That's if you look in the mirror and you say, if you say Ryan Gosling three times. He'll tell oh, he's you. Got a bit of a, he's got a bit of a Beetlejuice. Uh, I was going to say Bloody Mary, but yeah, a little bit of that too. Do Are Beetlejuice and Bloody Mary married? Oh, no. that would be a beautiful couple. Wouldn't that be they're, cute? They're roommates. Urban legend is what okay. Bloody Mary is. What would Beetlejuice be considered? He's a taxpayer. A I'm not too character? sure. A yeah. character from a film, Jeff. Did he exist before the film? <laughs> no. No, I, I think. They could still Do I date, have to though. hop on the Beetlejuice wiki? Because I'm sure it's there. Because I fucking will. Because I am already I fu- there. Because I fucking run it. It's mine. There are. I'm looking. I'm trying to find like other dudes in Barbie canon. Yeah. And boy, you know what, guys? It is. Um, it's all Ken's. It's it's a pretty dry well. Is I gotta it, say, actually. Oops, oops, all Kens. It is oops, all Ken. There is Al, so so the thing that I saw because Michael Sarah's in it, and there's the posters that they were released, the character posters, and he's not a Ken, he's an Allen. And if you look up Barbie Allen, there's like this obscure uh, doll they released called Allen. Well, they do have other characters. They have uh, other than Ken. Mm-hmm. They have Kevin. Th- there was a uh, Scott who okay. was uh, he entered the picture after a turbulent five years for Barbie. I think it was supposed to be grown up Skipper's boyfriend. He had like an afro. 
Or like a perm. Okay, I, I what when you said that I thought like Skipper's grown up friend. Like Skipper, you shouldn't be having a grown up male friend. You're too young. Oh, see, I've been looking. I'm at the, I'm on the fandom as well. But can I just say I just realized that the release date. I might have to go to the movies for this. Oh, uh, it's my an, my wedding anniversary. Oh, the Barbie if movie. you if you want to have which how what year anniversary is this? Uh, like, it's the eleventh year. If you want uh, to have plastic. a twelfth, you That's have the to go. Anniversary. You have yeah. to go yeah. to the. If you want to have a twelfth anniversary, you have to spend the eleventh going to see Barbie in theaters. And and Kim, if you don't do it right, if you don't have a perfect Barbie theater date, you're gonna fucking Groundhog's Day yourself. We've been through this before. If you fuck up your birthday, you Groundhog's Day yourself. We just yep. see Barbie every day for the rest every of eternity. Day. You will be a Barbie girl. Yeah, you'll just trapped. That, whereas like Bill Murray's character learned to play piano and a lot of useful skills. You'll just memorize the Barbie movie in your Groundhog Day yeah. scenario. Yeah. Now, here's a character called Dude. Yeah, I don't get Dude's thing. He looks like kind of like a douchebag the way he he looks like a douchebag. Dude will look very familiar to most collectors. He <laughs> borrows his looks from Derek, uh, TM, TM, who was only off the market two years since the disappearance of Barbie and the Rock. Oh, he's got he's got frosted tips. Wow. Last seen in 1987. Two years later, Derek is reinvented as Dude, losing his Hispanic past and history. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. What happened to it? <laughs> well, unlike Sean, the male doll in the star line, Dude is not described well by Mattel during initial advertising or packaging. His personality is left to be formed by his owner. Huh. All one really knows is that Dude is Jazzy Doll's boyfriend. <laughs> Dude Doll's only difference from Derek Doll's original look is the addition of frosted hair streaks, which we humans refer to as frosted tips. Yeah. Yeah. The can body mold and bent arms are the same. When trying to decipher, decipher is the word that this person has put here. When trying to decipher the two apart in loose format, the hair will be the only discernible trait. Ew. <laughs> Gross. So this is the first Barbie with an STD that comes packaged yeah. with one. <laughs> It was it was in the eighties, Jeff. <laughs> what is the movie? Is it is it Barbie Leaves Barbie? It has it's, to be. It's that. Barbie Leaves Barbie World because I've seen before the trailer came out. I saw I did some some snooping early on when I knew this was coming because I knew we were going to be interested in it. I saw some set photos <laughs> That's that they. Why you were looking up? <laughs> look, I'm trying to save your marriage. I knew I needed to tell you, Kim, so you could go to it on your anniversary. This is the only way that I'm going to get him to go this movie. Yeah, this but uh, make it be like if it's our anniversary. There's a, a there's a set photo I saw where they're dressed up in like their roller bra- rollerblading outfits and they're on like Venice Beach or something. But there's like normies around. So it's going to be a fish out of water. Uh, like you said, like enchanted a little bit, Joe. I feel like it's going to be a lot of Barbie using her superpowers to fight. What does Barbie do exactly? Everything. everything literally everything. She's, she's a spy. She's, she's a doctor. They should she's make an it. an astronaut. Oh, I have a perfect. I don't know if this is going to be it. But it, the movie li- should literally be almost like it alludes to a bunch of other genres. But because she can do everything, she fills all these roles. Like they have like a thing where the asteroid's going to hit Earth, and she's like, "Well, I am an astronaut," yeah. and then she puts on her plastic so astronaut outfit and saves is, everybody. Who is the villain? Who is the face of the patriarchy? Because that is who she has to fight. I mean, Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell. He's businessman who wants to capitalize on her. Do you think Will Ferrell has become evil white guy? In movies now, uh, but he, but but like his, that's quite a that's quite a movie. He, he has was a, he has a look. He's aged into evil white guy. But he always, but his his evil white guys always get like a redemption at the end, or they get like the heartfelt. They're not just evil and they die at the end. Maybe like, this is the one. Maybe Barbie is she emerges from Barbie world specifically to just kill Will Ferrell. Like that's what she. That's how the movie ends. Is I'm samurai Barbie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here to cut you in half. Well, we say kill Will Ferrell, but we mean actually Will Ferrell is just playing himself. A, a and kill, she a kill yeah. Bill, if you were. Yeah. Kill Bill Ferrell. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> no, why that's. that's a, why okay, I don't know that sounds <laughs> weird to <laughs> say. <laughs> Hang on, kill Bill Ferrell. Is that what this is gonna be now? <laughs> kill Bill Ferrell. Kill Bill Ferrell. Yeah. We get the name of the episode before we even get into the episode, by the way. Yeah. That was a good 13 minutes. Listen, we're a video game review review show. And on this show, we look at the reviews of video games, popular games from uh, uh, other gamers, because it's really hard to know a game to play. So we rely on the wisdom of others to, to help us decide it. And uh, the game that we are looking at today is Psychonauts 2. Psychonauts. You said, pronounce it again for me the way that you say words. Psychonauts 2. Can you spell it for me? P-S-Y. C H O N A U T S. See, I say oh, psycho. Psychonauts. 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 No. Psycho, not like astronauts. Psy- yes, yeah, psycho. Like Barbie. Psycho- like, like astronaut Barbie, psychonaut Barbie. Psycho, psychonaut. 
Why are you, why why are you, you saying please? an A? Why are you doing an A at the because end? Because you're doing an A, man. You're, it's, it's not psychonaut. You know, who's being, psychonaut. A, you know who's being a real A? You know who's being a real porcupine <laughs> right now? Yeah, Fuck you both. Psychonauts, t- psychonauts mm. is a two, is a third person action platformer developed by Double Fine and published by the Xbox Game Studio. It was originally announced in 2015, and uh, you know what? It only took a scant six years for it to be released in 2021 on the PlayStation 4, Windows, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X or S. It was also released for Linux and the Macintosh on May 24th, 2022. So it's not on the PlayStation? Uh, it is uh, uh, it's on the PS4, and I think yeah, it probably... Yeah, PS4, that was okay. the first thing you said. Yeah. Okay, it was like, literally Mario. the first words out of my mouth about where it was. It's like Mario. It but... has a real uh, Nightmare Before Christmas vibe as far yeah, as the art. Yeah, I was going to say, it's like if if Tim Burton go. was like, I will do the Mario, and he do will be Wednesday Adam. Do you think that's how he talks? Um, no, I, I think it sounds more like this, actually. Where the frick do you think Tim Burton's from? He's from South Canada. Wales. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, it is uh, a fairly well-reviewed game. He's from Burbank, si- California. Yeah, he South Canada. sounds like you. Kim, this has nothing, that is not germane to this conversation. Um, mm-hmm. psych- psycho- Does he say Psychonauts? Too. Is that what Tim Burton says? <laughs> psychonauts, eh? <laughs> yeah, you uh, know psych- you say it like that. Psychonauts 2 currently enjoys a Metacritic score of 87%. So 80, it's 87% fresh. Uh, it also has a, a, a 7.7 uh, user score, which is, I got to say, like, very high because users don't. Oh, users are cruel. Gamers are users terrible. Aren't, users aren't yeah. good. They Gamers hate games. Yeah, video but gamers, games, the one game they're bad at is enjoying video games. Gamers, especially gamers who provide reviews of games, <laughs> yeah. probably some of the most troubled that I've ever met. Uh, it is currently available on Steam for uh, $59.99, and that seems to be the consistent price across most areas. Oh wow! They didn't. They didn't go for. Uh, they didn't go for the 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 nice number, huh? No, they didn't. They were cowards. They care about gamers. For kids? They, they're dropping off that ten dollar for but the kids. But here's the thing, guys. Double Fine is a Microsoft subsidiary, which means that if you have the Xbox Game Pass, this game is included. Should we just call this podcast the Xbox Game Pass podcast? Like, now listen, the yeah. fact that so many games are on Game Pass just means that Microsoft must be stopped. Yeah. That's <laughs> really? Because I don't feel like that's the trend that's happening. <laughs> no. And I actually, here's the th- here's the thing, right? If a game isn't in Game Pass, I typically like walk directly past it, which I would say is bad. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, Psychonauts 2. It's been so, out for quite a while. And the only reason that I want to talk about it, other than the fact that I, I started playing it slightly. Watched a documentary. We there is a 30-hour yeah. documentary about the development of this game. And can I just say. You really took up 30 hours is, to develop it? That's pretty good. Yeah, it was amazing, actually. They were so quick. Boy, oh boy. They just if sat you, on it for... They waited till it happened. Ten years and then six years. Actually, what happened is uh, Tim Schaefer, the head of, uh, of Double Fine, had a headache one day, and someone hit him in the head with an axe. And out came Psychonauts 2, fully formed, that's a, dressed that's a, that's, in bronze That's armor. a bit of the game's sort of vibe. That is Kim. one of the levels. Yeah. yeah. No. Imagine, imagine Kim, if you will, a game that's like you said, Mario and Tim Burton, but also a little bit of like being John Malkovich kind of weirdness. The first level is teeth. Yeah, it's just Ew. teeth. No. Listen, hey, listen. The first level is teeth. It's not cool. It's teeth, though. The first level's teeth. What's the second level? It better not be teeth. Mm. I'll tell you that much. Oh, you're not on the second level yet. No. No, he he beat the documentary by watching it. I he beat the documentary. <laughs> <laughs> he has not played I, I, the game. Any percent of the documentary, I haven't beaten the game. When I start, when I watch things now, instead of just saying I watch it, I'm gonna say that I beat it. I beat Barbie last yeah. weekend. Yeah, yeah. I that, I, you know what? Hey Jeff, yesterday. hey Jeff, just a quick note. I don't think you ever should say that <laughs> sentence again. I beat Barbie. <laughs> just a quick note. <laughs> Just a quick note for me and the producers in the booth. Don't ever say that sentence again. How about these reviews, though? All right, these reviews. I don't know if I should play. continue to play this, because like I said, the first level was teeth. Yeah, well, I'm not too sure. I haven't played. I like the first game I played through. I've never, I've not beaten it. I don't think I've beaten a double fine game, but I've played a lot of them. Yeah, hey, once they have your money, they don't care anymore. 
they're double, double fight games are great, but they definitely require more attention from you than like your 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 standard boilerplate kind of action game. They want yeah, you to, which is not why I play games. No, I just need to escape the dreariness of reality every day to play video games. I don't need to go into some. I play games head. to get to my Barbie world. Yeah, <laughs> that's me. I'm sitting there and I'm I'm hanging out with villagers and I'm building a house and I'm Barbie girl. And I'm <laughs> That like plus, that, right? That's going to get a lot of most plays. Games are, most games are dolls. Anyway. Anyway, so um, reviews. All right. This is from Steam user. It's Luigi, but with two U's. Ooh. And no ooh. I. It's Lugi. It's Lugi. Lugi. Yeah. Uh, it's Lugi. It's, li- it's a me, it's Lugi. A me. <laughs> it's a me, Hoik Patui. Wacky and funny like my third wife. Uh. God, I miss her. Karen, if you ever read this... <laughs> Please let me see the kids this Christmas. Judge said it's my turn this year. Get it? Because he's wacky and funny. He's yeah. wacky and funny. This is a wacky and funny game for wacky and funny people. Okay. Like, well, a- you know what? I feel like that review actually did more than uh, it's sort of th- more than face value. It did, did really. It re- did it hit above its weight class? Is what I think. You're well, I, I just think that it, you know, it came off as like somebody who was just trying to be wacky and funny. But the fact is, this person liked the game and they're clearly wacky. And they left a wacky review for the game. Yeah, that makes um, sense. It's not like a random. It's not like they pasted like "come check out my webcam." Like it's not spam. No, no. Yeah, no. they didn't put their their Twitch bio in there. They weren't saying "come watch me stream this game." They just want to reminisce about Karen, their third wife. Yeah, and their children that they don't get to. Well, see. I, I and I know this isn't super relevant to maybe the review itself, but like, is being wacky good? Uh, no, <laughs> almost never. <laughs> In terms of personality <laughs> traits that I'm happy to see, mm-hmm. wacky is pretty fucking low on the list. Yeah. It's right down there with whimsical. Oh, whimsical's a bad one. Is is there any time when when you're not on like a stage at a Nickelodeon event where being wacky is a thing to be? If I may uh, quote from my favorite doctor and yours, Richard Patch Adams, mm-hmm. <laughs> you treat the disease, you win, lose. Treat the patient, you win every time. What if they're and then, I have, and then in the thing in the brackets, it's SIC because I probably fucked that up. Yeah, yeah. You, but yeah. what if uh, the patient dies? You still win. You still win if they if they die with a smile on their face. Yeah, cool. That's I'm gonna remember that one. When they die, you can also just sort of like use your fingers to kind of put their mouth into a smile. Yeah, they won't care. Pull their lips into a rictus grin. Yeah, you did. You guys actually do it because I did it. Yeah, I yeah. actually moved my fingers to make my face a smile. When I don't know why they don't make different sized coffins. I mean, I know for space issues, but I mean, they I love have, Jeff. That's not true. They I mean, I'm talking make. wider because I want to be able to place somebody's body in like a dabbing position so they're dabbing into eternity when I bury them. Dabbing into eternity is an incredible phrase. Yeah, do you think when that, that the only reason that Neil Armstrong took a step is that the dab wasn't invented? Yeah, probably. He would have dabbed one small dab for man. One, one small step for this fucking asshole, and I'm going to dab this shit, my yeah. dude. And then he just hops out of the space guy. And he does the, the touchdown dance on the moon. This, it's the, what's it called? The lander? The moon lander? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. So, I guess <laughs> afterwards. Landed it landed on the moon? Yeah, I guess it's called the it moon landed. So, yeah. past tense. What if they just didn't have a plan for getting them back? Like the they're dogs just, and the monkeys and stuff, and they're like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, like we're are we gonna waste our time bringing this guy back down? What's he? he He's what, on the moon. They just have a twin. It's not even like they. I mean, I would bring somebody back if they were gone. If they were going up because I forgot something the first time. Oh, okay. Then you so bring that's them back. Apollo Eleven too. I forgot my keys. I, oh, it's like a it's like a romantic comedy. It's like it's your anniversary and you forgot that you left the Barbie tickets up at the moon. You got to send you somebody up there to get to them. Got to go up to the moon to get those. You get you get Norm Macdonald rest in peace with some other funny funny comedian people to be the slapstick. You go up there, you get them, and then then they can do the thing where they hire Bruno to build a drill. Oh, you're talking build. about Bruce Willis, or you're talking about the Borat character Bruno? I'm talking about the Borat <laughs> character portraying Bruce Willis. <laughs> To build, to build a drill, to, 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 just, to get me my keys. You want another review? So, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's get out of this one. I think this is a good review. All right, that's a good one. I like that one. You know what? Because a lot of these reviews, I'll say, try to be funny. That one was just sort of like like, like nice and snappy, you know? It got, it got to the point. It got to the point, and it gave me a little bit of a giggle. It, was, it wasn't trying to be too clever. It was just a nice little, you know, built some lore. So good jobs. Yeah, thank you, Lugie. Thanks, Lugie. I hope I hope things work out with Karen. 
Yeah, I hope your fourth wife isn't such a bitch. Yeah. Whoa. Do you think it's a kid from every wife up to Karen? Anyway. She keeps them all. She didn't pass them on to the next one. It's like she kept the golf shoes and walked out with them. I don't need the shoes I came in with. I like these more. Next review. This is from Steam user N-I-A-M-H. Neum. Oh. Neum. Neum. What is Neum? Maybe it's the sound of like a car going fast. Really. Or it's like if someone misspelled, it's like the first take at the secret of Nim, but they put the put the A in there. It's like how JoJo's, it's like how JoJo says uh, psychonauts. It's the same yeah. thing for this person. They put an oh, A in like, there. Uh, someone who lives in Asia. How was that? Kim? How was that? And I'm worried M-H about M H at the. That's a that's a common like uh, end, end of that a common, spelling like, in Thai names. Like yeah. So maybe oh, it's okay. just somebody's like regular name. Yeah, <laughs> this yeah. is good audio. And we're we're you know I, we're the we're the bad ones. We're the we're the hey, bad guys. Hey, you talk shit on me for like 20 minutes because I thought two women looked alike. Yeah, and it wasn't enough, Kim. We needed to do it more because apparently it didn't fucking take. <laughs> So how about this review? Jeff? All right, for, uh, this uh, quote. This is this was easily my game of the year. Okay, that's a weird. Wait, this was that's easily. Okay. It's only April. But it's well, no, because this came well, out in 2015. Released, yeah. Well, then well, something no, else came no, out. No, no, no. It didn't. It didn't come out in 2015. What came when it came out? This one came out in 2021. Oh, 2021. Okay, that's yeah. a big difference. Yeah. The world was very different in 2015 than when it was in 2021 because Psychonauts 2 wasn't out yet. That's true. Yeah. And that's uh, the only difference. <laughs> this was easily my game of the year. <laughs> 16 years ago, oh God, 16 years ago, I played and fell in love with the original game on the PlayStation 2. With my current wife at the time, Karen. Yeah, if there's not some sort of wife uh, <laughs> information in here. There's wife ARG yeah. in the Steam reviews. <laughs> that's how you know, you can tell the bots how they say, that's how you can tell the bots from the real people is if it's a real person, they've got a wife. Bots can't Capture, have wives. Type in, type in your wife's name. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Don't lie, we'll know. <laughs> no other game has ever been so influential and pertinent. Uh, people who play this game are, are learned. Yeah. Pertinent to my development and life as the Psychonauts universe. Wait, what? Okay, hold on. Okay, okay you need to yeah, read, Let me it read again. again. No other game has ever been so influential and pertinent to my development and life as the Psychonauts universe. So the Psychonauts universe. So this game, this uh, Psychonauts 1 and 2 are the most important thing to his to this person's development as a human being. Well, it's weird that they classify as game, and then the thing they say is not a game. It's the con. It is the world building of Psychonauts. Yeah, but that's like that's like a pointless nitpick. I think the thing that I really like is the term pertinent. It's yes. pertinent. Which, it came right at the right time. Yes. I was on the ledge, and then somebody was like, "Hey, did you see that Psychonauts two just came out?" It is relevant <laughs> and applicable. Because it's mm-hmm. a game about a little boy at psychic summer camp who hops into people's brains and helps them work through their issues. I like I like this because it's basically saying that psychonauts is therapy. Yeah, and yeah. I wish I had it, but I don't. But I have this game, which is yeah, close as saved, I'm getting. This game, yeah, this game saved my marriage and my life. Thanks, American healthcare. The game has been with me for nearly two decades, talking about the original. And I speak for many Psychonauts fans when I say that we've been aching. Burning in our loins. Itchy for a sequel for a long time. Now, I don't know, uh, Joe, did you play the first one to the end? No. Okay, because I don't... I I didn't play the first one at all. Oh, okay, so you're a fake fan. You're a fake fake Psychonauts. Oh, you're a fair weather Psychonaut. Listen, (laughs) I'm a Psychonauts fan. Not a oh. psycho Nazi. Fan. That's the one you get from the dollar store. And apparently, there is a difference. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. The Fuck combat yeah. seen a significant upgrade with its attendant PSI or psi powers. PSI powers. Oh, with, psi. Wait, okay, this person is throwing in words that are unnecessary now. With its attendant PSI powers and maneuverability. Hey Jeff, keep up with this person. It was very pertinent. Yeah, it was. Pertinent. <laughs> the graphics are breathtaking. Which is bad. Yeah, I need to breathe. Yeah. To take if I take your breath, you die. Look, this came out in 2021 with COVID running rampant. Yeah, yeah man. I can't I can't risk an asthma attack. Two things are breathtaking COVID. in 2021. Psychonauts 2 and COVID. <laughs> the Omicron variant. Is that what was hot in the streets of 2021? <laughs> no, yeah. I think that was a little bit later, but still. So vibrant uh, and colorful. So unique and cartoonish that it captivates the most jaded irises and pupils. 
Okay, I got, I got. Cam, this is your, Cam, this is your, this is your ballpark. All right, tag me in, (laughs) tag me in. First of all, jade, not a very common for color for an iris. No, no, jaded, Cam, jaded. I I think I mean emotional. I know, I know. And then, but the thing is, the pupil, you don't actually use either of those to see. The pupil is just a hole that allows in light so that your retina can do its rattle can stuff. do its things and like send the neurons over to your brain to say what you're seeing. So the iris, it's like that doesn't make any sense, Nim. Okay, can can an iris be captivated? No. Could a pupil? No. Neither. Neither of those. could even probably be. I would struggle to find a situation where they'd be pertinent. Okay. Influential. Uh, the challenge that Nim faced is it seems doesn't seem like enough to say it looks nice. No, yeah. you, you got to also say that I went to school and or read a book. Yeah, yes. they were so vibrant and colorful. I feel like somebody needs to write like, say more with less. Yes. You could just say like the graphics are vibrant. Yeah. Done. That's a good word to describe it. The game was Vivid. bright and colorful. Say, bright and colorful. Yeah. You don't have to. I like the idea that the the game is so pretty. It'll fucking kill you. Yeah. yeah. It'll cut into your, it'll, it'll laser cut, it'll your cut deep. face off. Right. Um, Jeff, I think you're hundred percent right. They, they felt like they needed to use a bunch of $5 words because they just wanted people to know like how good it was. And it wasn't enough for them to just say, cause they've been playing this game for nearly 20 years, which would suggest that they are at a minimum 28, maybe probably, probably older. Something like that. Yeah. In I would mid thirties. This is somebody that we could just be like, we could know this person. We could, we probably do. In an AU, this was either me or Joe at some point. Yes. Knowing the backstory from the original game compelled me to instantly buy the game the minute I saw it was on the storefront. Like, but just not wa- pre-order it or back it on Kickstarter. There was a there was a young boy in a in a cap selling extra extra psychonauts <laughs> two out for sale today. And I was like, oh, oh, I know that game, and I'm compelled to get this instantly because of the backstory from the original game. The first game was so important because it made me who I am. To I bought the second game because the story from the original one compelled me to do so. Yeah, and then I saw it. I feel like that maybe there's some sort of I don't know, like power this game has over him because it seems like there's maybe a cry for help in this language he's using. <laughs> That I'm blinking twice. That <laughs> I can't see it. He's not entirely in control of whether or not he wants to buy Psychonauts 2. What I'm trying to say ultimately is that this is a serious must play for original fans and a must play for those new to the series. Just so, say it's a must there, play to everybody. Everyone. <laughs> yeah. Who's the guy that's like, you know, you know what? You can pass. Yeah. All humans, all humans forever. You that's that's it. When you that's take your citizenship it. test in to become an American citizen, they ask you who was George Washington <laughs> and also what's the first level of psychonauts to? And if you don't answer teeth. You gotta answer teeth. Gotta answer teeth. Then uh you I don't was, get to be here. You gotta go. Yeah. I uh I was trying to sing some sort of American anthem in the background mm-hmm. and what came up was the theme from Buckingham Palace, which is not right. not that's like Kim, no, literally the most opposite theme song. It would have been I closer if you started it. singing Barbie Girl. It yeah. would have been. Oh, which I could have I could circle back to that anytime. Yeah. America's original ex boyfriend, Britain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brian, hey, hey, Brian hey it's it is it is not classy to talk shit about an ex. Unless No, that's it. Okay. No. No. I mean at one point you thought it was a good idea, so all you're doing is talking bad about yourself. That's right. Believe hey. it. Just like you, it's in the past. Okay, now, but, listen, okay, but I gotta I think, say, Kim, you saying that is a little bit more like Kim. We don't want to dive into your well-known exes. Mm-mm. I'm pretty sure that if we all about, if we nope. all stacked about if we all stacked up our exes, to which JoJo has, I think none. Zero. I have none. <laughs> I have zero exes. <laughs> Two Kim's exes. Fucking nailed it in one. Yep. Uh, Did it. Bullseye. Yeah. Please do yourself a favor and grab this gem. Play the first if you haven't already and get ready to have your mind blown. Okay, right. so Joe, did you feel like your mind was blown? Your iris was no longer jaded? Would you watch the documentary? Captivated. I've played a lot of video games in my day. Okay. Is what I'll say. And I got to say, like, you know what? This one had some video game stuff in it. Mm-hmm, yeah. mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Th- this thing that this person is saying, it didn't do that for me in the first level. That was just you didn't like just like instantly jizz and stay hard when you were playing this game. Like uh, fucking Neom did. You know how um, how you're supposed to feel like an hour into a Pixar movie? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So like this game needs you to be there. Oh, OK. See. <laughs> 
<laughs> I I can't get there. I couldn't get there in in the first like twenty minutes when the first level was teeth. Yeah. See, um, that reminds me of something. Can I go off the rails just a little bit, just a slightly, just stop at a station for a second, just to yeah, be... yeah. You know, we've been doing this one review for about ten minutes without even having gotten through the last sentence. It's okay. No, Jeff, that, was that was the last sentence. That was the last sentence. That's yeah. it. We're good yeah. now. We're good. Uh, never mind. I, I'll save it. I'll keep it to myself. You've shamed her Fucking into not it's saying. Just, <laughs> it's just the people. Apparently, Lightyear failed miserably. The movie, yeah, the movie Lightyear, mm -hmm. and the Pixar was like, "Oh well, DreamWorks. I don't know who did it." They it was like, it was oh, just well, Disney. I don't think it okay. Was... The reason that it failed is we expected too much of our audience, and they were confused by the I, movie. I was now, confused by the conceit of what they were trying to do. I didn't, it. I could not care less about what they were trying to I do. I loved it that made movie no so sense. much and I bought so much of the merchandise and I quote the movie your on son. the regular. Yeah. I, I mean, now, it Kim, was, now Kim, have you been doing it to us? Have you been quoting this film to us? Occasionally I will go meow, 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 meow. And neither of you seem to notice. Um, or, um, uh, I just thought lucky. you were being a stupid cat thing. Cause you're <laughs> fucking Kim. Uh, uh, but yeah, Mo Got Lucky is a, um, that's a light year quote. Um, I will often suggest to people that I make uh, white noise sounds or whale calls, which is another stupid thing in the movie. It's, it's just such a good movie and it does not, it does not expect the viewer to be smart or to, they just wanted Toy Story 5 and that that's not what it was, but it's not called Toy Story. It's called Lightyear. It's called, it's called Lightyear. Lightyear. It yeah. is the first problem, not called Toy Story 5. It's the film that is an in can, an in universe, in the Toy Story universe, it is a movie. Yeah. That we that has somehow transubstantiated into this the meat space. No, but it's like it's the movie that Andy watched to want to buy Buzz. But the but the character in the movie is based on a real astronaut. Yes. But also it's no, like, Trump like it, 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 on a, I thought okay, they not an astronaut. I want to do one. I want to do one. Okay. I want to do one. <laughs> it's like the book of Boba Fett, where here's this cool guy Boba Fett, and here's a library book he had to return once. Let's make a movie it, about that. Let's make a let's make a series about that. No, it's not like that. It's uh, like this is where Boba Fett came from, and let's. Well, we do... don't care about that. All we care about is him doing his rad stuff. I thought well, that he did also rad stuff in the movie. Did you guys not see the movie? Obviously, no. Of course not. Yeah, well, that's where we started. If 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 I had seen the movie, I wouldn't be on this podcast because I would be a a better person having watched that, that movie. I wouldn't I need to do podcasts. I am arguing with two people who didn't even see the movie. You're a bunch of posers. <laughs> I, I, I'm, on. Sorry, I'm sorry, Kim. I'm I can't, sorry, wait. I can't, on. hold on. Are you saying you can't bother to intellectually engage with people who haven't seen Lightyear? Or that you, you have some sort of weird expectation that most people like you have seen Lightyear for some there's, reason? There's two kinds of people in this world for Kim. There's people who have seen Lightyear <laughs> and there's godless heathens who, we, who would better be used as Kim. Okay. <laughs> It's free on Disney Plus. Like, what the fuck else are you Disney doing? Disney Plus, that's like? $13 a month. I would rather watch Bluey episodes over and over and over again than start watching Lightyear. It's a good movie and it's funny and it has a really cute cat in it. Oh, well, here's the problem, Kim, is you've doubled, you've tripled, you've quadrupled down on this movie and it's, and it's, it's it's goodness yeah, was, so much now. Like, we're talking about a film, and it's like you're it's like you're being attacked, Kim. You're not a movie. This is this but, is is this your Citizen Kane? No, it's not. I mean, it's just like I didn't realize that you. Oh, you're backpedaling now. Oh, no. okay. So <laughs> no, I thought I was actually like having like like you guys like I get if you haven't seen it and you're just like it's stupid, whatever. Yeah, I could see thinking it was stupid. It's a cute movie. And it's underrated, and I really think you should see it, because the cat is very cute. Well, Kim, I'm going to watch this movie, and if it doesn't fucking blow my mind like Psychonauts 2 did for Nima, uh, for Neo. <laughs> That's a great pivot, Jeff. Then, oh, then I'm going to... Thanks for getting this right back. I'm going to fucking track. lose my mind. Okay, I'm fine with that. Lose right. it. Let's, Show me another... Give me another... Give me another review, friend. Okay. Well, let's, hang on. Let's just take a quick breath, and then we'll... <laughs> You really went off on Lightyear for quite a while, Kim. Nuh-uh. It was like... No, no, Kim, here's the thing. I've been timing as we've been talking about things. Five minutes. I think that's reasonable. That's like, you, Kim, you went to an open mic and didn't do a joke. You just talked about Lightyear for the here's entire the thing time. Here's Lightyear, boys. Hey, y'all want to get wrecked? Yes. Yes. This is something that I am... I'm glad I found it. 
This is from, so sometimes when I go to the internet, I have this like fishing pole that's able to like get all the way down to like, you know, like the, the, oh, the abyss you mean like floor. A, 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 yeah. a trolling? Oh, that's, a, that's a satisfying dig. Yeah. And you get all the, all the way down there to where like there's shit down there that like remembers the birth of the planet. Like, and, and I can grab it and scoop it up and bring it up. That's what I use to get this, this game recommendation. Cause this is from Yahoo Answers. <laughs> oh, it's back. No, it's not. Oh, like I said, I had to pull he up had a to dead. Resurrect I, I pulled it. a. I pulled a corpse. You used all your the Bitcoin of the internet's ocean. You floor. had to use all your Bitcoin on the dark web to get internet library way back machine access to get Yahoo Answers. There's a secret way back machine that like it goes way back and like if you take if you go too far you can actually like see the curvature of the universe and Ooh. you don't want to go that far. It's like uh, it's far enough to find Yahoo Answers. There's a baseball announcer who used to always go back, 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 back. And that's what I imagine that that's what this is. That's what you're finding. <laughs> you're finding the game and you're digging and you're just back, back, you're, back, back, you're back, never back. meant to, You're never meant to go that far back. Yeah, no. No. Never. But tell me, t- what did Yahoo Answers? Because I love, so I used from, to spend a lot of time on Yahoo Answers. Oh, didn't we all? This is from Yahoo Answers user Noirja, N-O-I-R-J-A. It was asked in games and recreation and video and online game section two years ago as the crow flies. And uh, Nyorja asks, a game suggestion? So recently, my dad wanted to get into gaming, but I couldn't decide what he can play. Okay, fair. I get that. I I have power of attorney and I decide. (laughs) Since he is going to play video games for the first time in his life, any suggestions, question mark, note that for console, Xbox One. Okay. Update, maybe for Honor, but it might be too complicated for him. That's a pretty complicated game for a new person. Yeah, this yeah. is a newbie. Honestly, any game on like a new console is going to be hard. Yeah, you if should you're, start. If you're starting, if you're starting from scratch, I've actually given some, I've been thinking about this. Like if I had to start from scratch as a gamer at this age. Yeah. Like you're, I'm, ima- yeah, I'm imagining that this is like a 30 year old. That's guy. like, that's the, that's like the, the worst case scenario. We all don't want to think about is like, I lose my gamer job. I have to start all over. I spent all these years, my 401k, my gamer. Okay. My, is, four, is my, my 401, 401 gamer, gamer score. G- yeah, yeah. My 401, my 401 4k HD gamer score is, is been liquidated. Yeah. I just, I think, I think you just, you have to be, you have to go back to basics and you need to like, if you're a baby gamer, you got to play baby games. Yeah. So like, you're going to start with... Go with Mario. You can't be super... You have to start no, with Mario. No, you can't, st- you can't start with... Super you, still, start you can't start with, with Mario. What about like Zelda? Kim, that's... Okay, if I'm at Mario and you say, how about Zelda? That's up from Mario. I got to go down. So it's got to be a screen, like a scroller, side scroller? No, even lower. Even lower. You're down Pong? More. Pong is closer. I, mean, I bet he's. I bet he's played arcade games. I mean, I would be very upset if I was a of a, a fifty. I don't know how old this guy, this person's dad is, Let's but say 30, he's 45. 45 Let's say he's year old 45. father, and it's like you know, video games exist because commercials exist. So you've seen them, and your 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 child sits you down to be like, "I'm starting you on this journey. We're going to get you into gaming, and you have to play fucking pong. Come on." Yeah. Okay. You yeah. say that, Jeff, but there's a there is a reason why, like they don't. They don't just let you do the black diamond slope your first time out. No, no, like no. they they well, like don't do that. You'll die if you do that. If this if this fucking guy started off with, let's say, I don't know, here's a game out of a hat, Psychonauts 2, <laughs> he would die. I, I think it'd be too abstract for this person. Are you because you have to buy into the idea but, but that see, games this is what are I'm saying though, I have a gamer's callus in my brain where nothing yeah. n- nothing I don't care about jack shit in what, here. What um Shit, I lost my train of thought there with the thinking about calluses. What is this father <laughs> into? Calluses? I'm sorry, Kim. Yeah. What? Yeah, well, you said the word callus. Anyway, um, so Jeff, you were go you were saying I was saying <laughs> I like I, I think the best way to go with this is to find the the father obviously it's not like the father has like been in a coma and forgot everything and like has no interest. Find an interest. He didn't, he didn't eternal sunshine himself. Yeah. Like yeah. what if what if dad is into football and sports? Go get like Tecmo Super Bowl. You know, okay, Tecmo oh, Super okay. Bowl, so the Nintendo. Yeah, do something more based on his interests. That's yeah, don't just interested. Yeah, what did so? What did dads like? Uh, so lawn, lawn mowing lawns. They like pipes. Ooh, you but know what would about- be a good modern game to give a dad or it, what? really anybody, what, any what, parent. What? In the game where you fix engines? No, they get like the power wash simulator. Ugh. 
God, I love it when I just, it's that clean. Lowered, just saying Power Wash Simulator lowered my blood pressure by there, 10 points. There is a level in Power Wash Simulator where you do spray the mud off the flaps of a truck. Yeah. That's some of the most dad shit. You got to get something that's similar enough to a real life activity. You can't, and it you never can't... rains when you're doing it, by the way. Can I just say, I know mm. we're kind of on a tangent here, but Power Wash Simulator, it never starts raining mid-level. That's good. Don't take away the gameplay from me. There's yeah. also lawn mowing. There's a lawn mowing simulator. Some of those could be too tricky because then you got to upgrade your lawn mower. Like no, no, just keep it simple. Power yeah. wash simulator. The other, what I remember, what I was going to say is that it may be helpful if you um, have him like kind of watch you play games before introducing him to the game. Give your dad the other controller that's not plugged in while you play. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your dad. Simulate, you know, it's a power wash. Oh, you're, oh, you're doing a great job. We're not, wow. we're not, we're not used to the the brain power that and the, the muscle memory that we just have from years of saying. playing. Like, Dad's gonna accidentally break both of his thumbs trying to play Zelda because the hands aren't gonna be able to do his what they need. Just, his thumbs just break they just, backwards instantly. <laughs> yeah, the graphics are too good. His body can't handle it. It rejects it. So, oh. Some of those simulator games are very wait, difficult, though, wait, so it really wait, does need to be an easy... Wait, I have it. World of Tanks. Dads do what? love tanks. Dads I, love fucking tanks. If they, you go to yeah. any dad's house, they have like a coffee table book on the tanks of World War I. It's a, it, is a, it is an action. No, no, it is absolutely the opposite of action. You, 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 you control a tank, and you shoot other tanks with it, and you get to look at the tank and go like, that's a good-looking tank. I, I just mm. thought of another type of game that would definitely good get dads. What is what, another, another good one? game for dads? Some sort of, like, video poker game. Or oh, like, yeah. Like, why yeah. is he just playing video poker? You're yeah. right. Like, get solitaire. Video poker. Get pinball. Pinball. He's a pinball Two buttons. Dad. You got to just worry about the, uh, you got to worry about the bumpers, and that's it. Is there a game about grilling? There's got to be a game about grilling. Uh, there's cooking. There's cooking games. I, oh no, yeah. But grilling isn't a game, Jeff. That's what your dad says when you try to grill. Right. Yeah. That's why they haven't made one because dads won't let that game get there, made. Is there a game just called Quit Horsing Around? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Turn this car around. I mean, there's those interesting <laughs> indie <laughs> games. Um, a driving game would be an interesting one. Oh yeah. Why not like a Grand Theft Auto? Get dad or... a whole setup with the actual steering wheel controller. Da dad Theft Auto. Mm-hmm. The thing is, you got to whet their appetite because gaming for the sake of gaming, if you don't have an interest immediately in the context of the game, is there's no reason. Dad's been dad's gone 45 years of his life without playing a video game and is, has yeah, had a beautiful Andy's, child. And he's gone six months a year on the road trying to put food on the table. Yeah. yeah. Like, what's uh, what's the motivation for this man to like actually start playing that games? Was, that's did, really getting to his head. Yeah. I, I, why is dad getting into games now? Did mom just pass away? Yeah, and dad... I think mom's left him. Right. I don't think she passed away. He would have other things. I think that he needs to find it could be this is how they're trying to get back here oh this could be how yeah. with the kids i'm thinking maybe dad is thinking about becoming a vtuber and they need to have some information on how games work before Will they, they oh, yes before they make that, that anime avatar what? hey jeff that is an absolutely wild cause and effect i want to become a vtuber as a 45 is that what we said yeah 45, 45 yeah. yeah as a 45 year old dad I have now decided that I'm going to be the next Hakuni Mitsu, but for Twitch. I guess I should find out what video games are. It sounds kind of I like a, a lot of people do that. That's kind of an it's sunny. It's always sunny in Philadelphia episode right there. <laughs> <laughs> gang, the gang becomes VTubers. Okay. All right. Um, well, so, well, hang on. But I just want to, I just want to okay. quickly say, you know, there were a couple of uh, suggestions. None of them as good as ours. Well, we didn't give the best suggestion though. We, we didn't well, actually no, give we were, the right I answer. Mean, yeah, Fortnite, Fortnite. obviously. We, yeah. we can't start. We cannot just start with Fortnite because this whole segment fucking falls well, apart it, at the same time. Well, yeah, because then you have the answer, period. There, Fortnite, is, yeah, period. Like, there is a right answer, and we don't say it right away because sometimes you gotta work you gotta work out to have muscles. Yeah, it's yeah. you don't you don't call down the Megazord at the beginning of the episode. You get your ass kicked a little bit and you learn could, from yeah, it. Yeah, you could just call down the Megazord, but the show is fucking 30 minutes long. Yeah. yeah. Well, 22 with commercials. And those commercials show you how fucking rad the Megazord is. So I had, just like, why am I wasting this time? It was rad. I had a Megazord. It was very cool. Holy shit. Yeah. That's nice, Jeff. Yeah, it was a bir it was a Christmas, it was either birthday or Christmas present. That thing came apart into so it's like five toys that become one cooler toy. And that spent a lot of time in the bath with me. I was definitely like too old to be doing you that. You played with a Megazord <laughs> in the bath? Oh yeah. I worry like 
wouldn't you have gotten it moldy and all its little pieces? I wouldn't have let you play with Megazord just, in the back. It's just straight plastic, Kim. It's not those like those fancy school toys that you give your son that are all like organic and shit. Well, no, you can you can get stuff in. Did it come with into, like a little? Did it come with like weapons and shit? It came with a sword. Oh, I'm Is looking at it? it right now. Sixty three dollars and ninety seven cents. Power Rangers Mighty Morphin Megazord Mega Pack includes five. Mighty Morphin Power Ranger Dinozord action figure toys for boys and girls ages four Di and up. No, 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 Kim. Je Jeff was not a, a dinosaur. Well, no, but he it's, was an original. He was an original. Well, the dinosaur. This is inspired by the 90s. Yeah, I was going to say, I I'm curious how much the OG one. Did it have a mammoth shield? Well, the mammoth was, was the head. So, yes, it just wasn't a very good shield because it was very small. But wow. That, but it had, it had the shield, though. Yes. I'm looking at the, like, at, well, wa Walmart.com, which apparently also operates kind of like eBay, but worse, has one for $977. I see wow. one here. I see one for $500. $499. It's the oh, 1993. It's a, you know what? You know what? No, 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 no. That's not what I want. You don't want the legacy one. No. No. The so 90... this one. So the the internet says that um, it, by Bandai Toys, it was actually they were they put a price on it to make it really reasonable at about fifteen dollars, which in 1993 converts to about forty five dollars, which is a huge amount of money for a toy for one as toy a, yeah. as a parent. It's not even a video kid, game. You're you're really playing. A game. Every time you buy your kid something, you are rolling the dice whether or not it's going to be their favorite toy and they're going to love it forever. Or, or it's going to end up in a pile of dirt like by where the faucet is. Yeah, like they're just not going to be interested at all. And like $45 is a lot of money to to gamble with uh, with your child because yeah. they are not reasonable. There was no way to resell that aside from a yard sale at the time. Yeah, and you're not getting 15 bucks for that, my friend. Nope. Well, we solved it. All right, guys, let's uh, let's bring it home. Let's we've right. done how about, a, how about well, how about another review? One another. Yeah, okay. we have only done like we did two reviews. That's not enough. Okay, but one of them was a really big one. Yeah, like, well, I'm sorry. I'll I'll do a shorty. Uh, well, well, Kim, here's the thing: a lot. Uh, one of the reviews was about an hour's worth of light year tangent. Okay. Uh, from Steam user Moose underscore Ski. Moose Ski. Moose Ski. Moose -ski. Ruined by identity politics like everything else. Oh, what? Be, what? A be a platform game, not a platform to spout your leftist agenda. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Is that it? That's it. Wow. That it. Wow. What's the agenda, Joe? What is it? Because... Oh, it's are there, uh, are there black it's, wait, is this game woke? So in the sense that it's about <laughs> mental illness, <laughs> I guess so. Well, right wing people don't have mental illness, Jeff. Yeah, they Joe, have tough up guys. They have toughen up snowflake. Yeah. Yeah. Their dad hit them because they love them. Yeah, I uh, I this makes me want to play it more because it made the stupid person angry. Yeah. Yeah. I like here's what I like about this review, and I know that this isn't gonna like hit you guys in the same way, but here's what I like. Mooski did not want to write this review, mm -hmm. but the muse compelled them to because they were like, it's not a plat it's a platform game, not a platform game. Wait a minute. Oh yeah. And yeah. they were like, ah, oh, I can't not just let that one go. Oh fuck. I have to get a Steam account. <laughs> They're like, I tried to I tried to tweet this on Truth Social, but no one liked he it because no one's there. He texted his mom, is this anything? Yeah. He hadn't talked to her in 20 years. <laughs> Well, I would say yeah, in turn, Mushki she is, is 68 years old. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta be. Gotta be. I love, I don't know. I love the, I love normal things that make dumb people angry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just, it's just a normal thing. It's just a normal thing. It's the regular thing. Makes you, makes you mad. So makes I think you. this is a good, I think this is a good one. Yeah. I, I want, I want this game now. This makes yeah. me also For not, sure. here's the thing. It makes me want the game, but it also makes me sort of do like the, do I want to play this? Let's see what Mooski said about it. Yeah. If, they, if they didn't like it, I should probably play this it's, game. Yeah, it's like the anti-review. Like the fact that they said that did help you know to play it. Yeah. You know? Fuck you, Mooski, who, by the way, I think is no longer on Steam. When did you get this review? Uh, Like an hour ago. Moose oh. underscore ski. Yeah. M-O-O-S-E underscore S-K-I. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, maybe they died. Maybe they died. Maybe they, maybe they were so shamed. No, maybe no, they were. They oh, that person's a piece of shit. No <laughs> information given. Right. Oh, coward. All right. Do we just want another let's one? What, let's, let's get in one more. Okay. Just well, this, one more review, Jeff. Why not? This, this, the only thing just, this hey, ever reviewed. Just, just for fun. Okay. 
Uh, this one might be in the same vein. Imagine being so much of an authoritarian slash totalitarian fascist. Okay. Seems kind of uh, redundant. That is that. a yeah. yeah. That That's... is a wild place <laughs> to start this little mental. Wait, let me let me vacation. picture myself there. Let me. I hold on. Okay, I gotta put yourself imagine, there. Imagine okay, myself you're... as that. You're there. As this collection of words, I don't really understand the definition to that. You felt the need to censor words you could type on a typewriter in a single player video game. What? What? That is a wild thing to... What? So How fucking dare you? Okay, wait. Let, maybe this will make more sense if we read the rest of this. If this review upsets you, then you are more than likely somebody who would have been okay with rounding up people and putting them in camps because they had, quote, typhus, end but, quote. What? Besides that, this Did game Daniel is... Daniel laugh? Daniel just laughed from the other <laughs> room, yes. <laughs> Uh, besides that, this game is mediocre, worth $25 max. This sounds like a person who has energy and doesn't know where to direct it. <laughs> okay, so imagine being so much of a fascist that you mm -hmm. have to censor words. You could type on a typewriter in a single-player video game. So I'm imagining that in this game... That could be any word. And that I'm could be literally any... Like, what do you... I'm imagining that in the game... Any, you any type, word... Okay, There must on. be physically... Hang, there hang, must hang be, on, hang on, hang okay. on. What words can you not put on a typewriter? I, I believe this... I believe it's saying, if I'm trying to read this right, is in the video game itself, there is a typewriter that words are on, but the words are censored. Okay, that... That would make sense, so I don't trust it. Okay. I, I don't think we'll ever know because user J. Oh, okay. Here's what it is. I just looked up the whole, because uh, there's a whole thing. There's a part of the game where you are on a giant typewriter. Okay. And you can jump on keys to type things and it pops up on the paper. Assumedly, if you type in a bad word, it probably censors it. Wow. And that this person, person is, is, is it a this? real, they typed in this person is mad. They couldn't use a video game typewriter to type the N word because it censored yeah. them. I'm assuming. How dare they? Those fascists uh, that they're just like the Nazis who rounded people up in camps and I would have only given the Nazis $25 max max not a not a dime above it yeah I it's it's hard to tell if this review is being the steam user is just named Jay it's hard to tell if this is being just like like not like just it's being so over the top and what it's implying that it's trying to be funny I don't think so or if it literally is a person who doesn't understand uh, I don't know. This person. What do they I, understand, Jeff? I Fucking guess. Get them. I guess. Fuck them up. Dubna doesn't understand um, what fascism is, totalitarianism, or, or authoritarianism, authoritarianism. Um, and also you know school censor language. Yeah, you know what? You're not allowed. You're not allowed to go up to your teacher and be like, "Hey, Miss Lady, fuck." Yeah, well, guess what? When that happened, I was like, "This reminds me of being in those camps that they talked about in that place that I went to that I don't you, believe existed." That, the irony is, you wouldn't know what that is because you did say that to your teacher, who was the only one who would have told you about yeah. it. Yeah, and I didn't believe her because where she's. You, then where did you learn about it? Reddit. Yeah, that's the only teacher that I need. <laughs> that little alien man is my professor, <laughs> Professor Alien Guy. That makes sense. But only if he's wearing a MAGA hat. Uh -huh. <sighs> they probably have that, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, there's got to be. A, there's a subreddit where because you, you, you can make him look whatever. There's right? a subreddit for almost There's a subreddit. Everything. You can make him. You could dress him up. Put some weird things on him. Uh, is there a BDSM subreddit? And he's like got little straps. There's little got on. Jeff. You said is the. Is <laughs> I know there, there is, question, but I've, is there yes, one? I just is like. There one is, where they like <laughs> have they made the little icon of the alien in little BDSM gear? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Maybe that's you. Maybe you're the one. Hey, Jeff, now that you've said it, if it's not there, you owe it to put it into the universe, my friend. Now uh, yeah. it's time to use the skills. I've hey, be the be the change that you want to see in the yeah. world. Yeah. yeah, I can't believe I couldn't type the word wiener Butthole. on this typewriter in a video game. <laughs> I well, mean, here's yeah, it's got it's got to be the word, right? Yeah, Wiener? well, it's whatever the word is. It's a word that they wanted to put in a video game, and it's an interesting thing. Is I guess they said in a single player video game, so they're just like, I'm not even doing this in front of other people. Yeah, this is just me in my own but that, home. Yeah, but let, okay, let me stop you there. You could be doing that in front of other people. Yeah, you could. Well, because yeah, everything's it's not, in front of other people. You can put it on the internet. If this person could do that, they would have a YouTube channel devoted to curse words and slurs that they typed into the Psychonauts Two typewriter, and those videos would get thousands of hits because yeah. People are terrible. Yeah, guess what, friend? I also have a speak and spell. Your speak and spell will let me say, well, I can speak and spell. Oh, well, God. Just think of the terrible words somebody would put into a speak and spell. Uh, Anyways, this person's a piece of shit. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. The game cool. is better game. because this person didn't like it. And I like how they're just like, it's worth $25, but it's like, hey, if you have Game Pass. 
Yeah. If, yeah, man. It's free with it. Well, I mean, it costs the cost of being well, on game. I guess my question also, just based on this person's, the, the, what I can discern of their personality from the review is, Psychonauts 2 doesn't seem like the type of game this kind of person would play unless they were just doing it, I guess, for free on Game Pass. Like, it's not to say that people can't enjoy all types of games, but if this is the slant that you take on this yeah. video game, it's it's a pretty well-known product and Double Fine has been around for a while. Like, they've got a, a, a sort of pedigree when it comes yeah. to the games they put out. That's like... But but any, but but Jeff, I, I'll sometimes, like, buy something where I don't know anything about the person who made it. And then be mad because you can't say the N-word? <laughs> yeah, and... <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Kim? That is the order of events. It doesn't really matter what I buy, though. It's just, just a thing. Every single time, you're like, oh, you're avocado. Not, you're like the, means. Wish I could do, see I'm just doing some, <laughs> some research of all the games avocado. that you dislike. Yeah, I just imagine you're saying it or, or to the avocado. You're like, oh, avocado. <laughs> How dare you, avocado. Be a platform for chips, not a platform for your leftist politics. Oh, gosh. And that just makes me want chips <laughs> you may be shocked at this not a lot of reviews talked about very much <laughs> no i mean they were either completely enamored with uh what their eyes were experiencing yeah just so we're clear the big three is um people who hate double fine because of its politics people who liked psychonauts one <laughs> and jokes, <laughs> that's jo it actually jo jokers the jokers Joker, yeah Joker, and a bunch jokers. of jokers Bunch All of right. people who, who thought they were so the jokers to themselves seem to kind of lean more towards liking the game too. The liking the game is an afterthought. Well, yeah, they like it. They're jokers who like it because they know they know a good time because they're jokers. Therefore, they like Double Fine's Psychonauts too. I recommend it. I haven't even played it. You know, counterpoint first level's teeth. First level's teeth. Yeah. Well, I would. I oh, do, listen. Hey, listen. Just warn people. I, it's not that big of a deal. Jay, by the way, first level is teeth. Yeah. You have to do the first level, though, because it teaches you other controls. Oh, yeah. See, and I am not really crazy about that mechanism, but I'll allow it. I know how video games work. Don't teach me anything. I know. Teeth Never work. teach me anything. Yeah. Never teach I know me anything. I've learned. Works. I've learned everything I'm going to learn. I read Ayn Rand. I therefore know how everything works. I almost just pushed the computer <laughs> when you said that. Like, <laughs> what you I, I almost just like reached out and pushed my monitor. Like, the, do you guys remember the? I want to say it was like the 2012 election, where like three days before there was like coming to theaters, Atlas Shrugged Part Three, and like the tagline is like, "Will this influence the election? You gotta watch to find out." Yeah. Do you guys remember that? No. I remember. I kind of remember there being an Atlas Shrugged movie that no one watched. Yeah, I I I missed it. It came out literally like two days before the election in 2012, I want to say. I mean, that's the look. I'm pretty sure that like epic movie might have 10 years prior influenced the election more than Atlas Shrugged did in theaters. How can they go watch Atlas Shrugged during COVID? I ask you. That's the true Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> George Washington would get COVID in this theater watching Atlas Shrugged because he believed in America just like me. If George Washington saw a movie theater, he'd have a heart attack and die. Yeah. He just couldn't. There's just so much about it. He oh. wouldn't be able to fathom. And there, you know what? Great tie in to, to put it all with a nice little bow. George Washington, nobody had weird oh. sets of teeth. <sighs> mm -hmm. Yeah, those wooden teeth. I think Hideo Kojima snuck his way into our show. <laughs> <laughs> With this convoluted plot point. Came all the way back around to teeth. Thank you for listening to our show. Uh, listen to Player Two. Um, do you guys have any genuine recommendations for people of things to look at? Cam, I know you're going to say Lightyear. Uh, well, yeah. You know what? I, I'm going to use this opportunity to tell you guys about this movie called Lightyear. Uh, it's a good movie. It's worth seeing. It. Um, I don't know. It's like it's just lighthearted. It's not going to like change your life or anything, but you'll buy a bunch of merchandise. It's just, it's. just. I liked it. I okay. like some I like some dumb movies too, Cam. It's fine. It's like Don't dumb. Worry. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> mm. Jeff, do you have any recommendations? Uh yeah, I would like to recommend um I don't know if you've watched them. They're not new, but they think they have new ones coming out. It's on Disney Plus. It's the the new modern Mickey Mouse shorts. I don't know if you've watched any of oh, those. Yeah, I have watched them. They're a little bit ugly, but we do enjoy them. Weird. They're wonderful. It's it's like if you took Rin and Stimpy and plugged it into Disney stuff. 
Um, yeah, did, that was the vibe. Yeah, I got, it's actually. very strange. I, it's a little too much butts for me when I'm watching it with my child. But it's it's Mickey Mouse with Ren and Stimpy developed by the internet generation. They're all pretty amusing. But like I, uh, Dan, Daniel and I were just sort of like watching a bunch because they're like four minutes long. They're super short. Where it's almost an inconvenience because I can't put the remote down because I have to click over to something new by the time that you know it finishes. But those are really wonderful. They're on Disney Plus. They're very lighthearted. They're fun. If you want something easy peasy, lemon squeezy, you should watch those. Um, as far as playing things, uh, there's a game that uh, Danielle is excited about that I'll I'll plug. We haven't played it yet. Um, it just came out. Meet your maker. Danielle's excited about that. It's been getting good reviews. Oh, we- has it? I actually saw that on the Steam, uh, and I didn't pick it for today. It's uh, it's. I saw some good reviews. It's basically like I don't know if you ever played Tecmo's Deception. Nope. Um, no. It's uh, you are you could play either somebody who creates a fortress or somebody who is invading the fortress, and you have to like set traps and stuff like that. Uh, it's huh. kind of like the PVE that no one ever played of Fortnite. Ooh. Um, yeah, good which is back. good. Good. Yeah. Fortnite plug. Nice. nice You're welcome. Nice. But yeah, that Daniel's excited for that. And um, I mean, Final Fantasy 14. I know I just say that every time. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> do you? Oh, That's yeah. Weird. I just keep, you do I keep like playing it. that. I do like it. Um, and it is. Uh, all, hey, hey, uh, Jeff, meet your makers on Game Pass. Oh, nice. Well, it's also on PS Plus because that's how we have it. So, oh, f- yeah, I guess. What, hey, Kim, you're about to hear me and Jeff fucking fight. <laughs> Xbox versus PlayStation, finally. Fucking Sony crony over here. But, uh, oh yeah, just completely side note. On our TikTok, which you should go follow, it's uh, it's Mom Hat Studios, I put up a tweet reg- uh, that was just kind of about, it was a joke tweet about like the PlayStation and Xbox, and it was not about the actual systems. And wouldn't you know it that that comment section devolved into people being complete morons about the system that they like. I love it's it. It's weird. Gamers so are the worst. Our, check out our TikTok, I guess. No, yeah, TikTok go look at the TikTok. The Look at the kick, look at the TikTok with the just it's like the tick the, the tweet was basically something like I like the Xbox Series X more than the PlayStation because the Xbox Series X could be like a house for like a mouse if you hollow oh, it out. Oh yeah, that was a good tweet. And then the PlayStation 5 looks like a, the skyscraper that an evil mouse CEO lives in. So and then people turned that into calling each other names over liking the Xbox or the PlayStation. Now, now here's what I love. It's all engagement for us, baby. <laughs> yeah, you guys go ahead and make uh, make your stupid Dance comments. puppets. Because I've got 10,000 views on that piece of shit. So fuck y'all. But yeah, that's what I got. What about oh, you, Jojo? Uh, 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 here's, a, here's, a, here's a quick update from the news desk. Meet Your Maker is not actually on Game Pass. So oh, just, uh, time win. to go buy a PS5. Oh. Uh, I'm going to recommend the game Dredge on pretty much everything. Judge it Dredge? No, not Judge Dredge. Um, Dredge, it is a fishing game with horror elements. <gasps> it is a horror fishing game. That's and interesting. It Available for Xbox, rules. PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, and more. It is so good. I could not recommend it more. It is such a wonderful game. Is it? Okay. Is it jump scary or is it atmospheric? It is, I, listen, hey, Jeff, it is not jump scary, and that actually makes it way worse which is interesting because fishing to me real life fishing is one of the most jump scary fishing sports you can jump play scare. yeah because you oh i got a bite yeah well but you know do I mean? I want, it's scary trolling is also scary yeah <laughs> go, go, yeah, yeah go watch uh, uh, go go play dredge uh, um well i think the only thing left to do is uh for uh i mean we normally do a final review but you know what i think because that's the that i got one last one should... there's there's one last little one i got okay. one last okay, tiny fine, one fine 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 all right. Uh, this is from Steam user Mazurka, M A Z U R K A. Quote, you can pet a rat, 10 out of 10. Fuck. Wow. <laughs> this, is, actually, this is a good review. Yeah. All right. My name is, uh, my name is JoJo. And I'm Kim Martell. And I'm Jeff. And this has been Listen to Player Two. And um, Anne Rand is my real mom and dad. <laughs> no, 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 no. no, no, no. Wait, I had Pick one. something I else. I had one. It was, um, and. What was it based on the reviews? Uh, it was somebody specific. Let me try that again. My, my, your pupils Kim? and your irises. Yeah. <laughs> Why is this the hardest part for you, Kim? Well, because I had it and I missed it. Now I missed it. So it's... Uh, okay, and uh, this has been listened to Player 2 and authoritatism. Uh, <laughs> you want to take another go yeah, with that? No, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Karen, my third wife, is my real mom and dad. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 ha